Steve-O. Yes, so. We are gonna update the people on our pond management progress. Yes, we are. Okay, That's so right. first, give us a quick rundown of what we've been doing. We've been uh, putting the muck blocks, the six pound muck blocks. Yes. Four of them, so yes. 24 pounds of muck block every single month. Okay. And uh, we have not missed a month. And it, you can always tell when it's about time because the phytoplankton goes up. And so the pond gets kind of that greenish tint. Is phytoplankton, phytoplankton is that a code word for duckweed? No. No. Okay. No, this, is no. this is something else that's green that's in the this pond. Is, this is the, uh, you know, floating algae. Got it. Uh, this stuff right bottom here. Bottom of the uh, food chain. Though no, that's all duckweed. This is all duckweed. See. The only way that you see phytoplankton is that the whole pond has a green tint. That's Got it. it. Okay. And so then we put the four uh, blocks in, mm -hmm. and then it takes it and knocks the um, algae down. Okay. We do not get string algae uh, because we have all of the duckweed. The other, um, the reason that you're not seeing a lot of duckweed over the entire pond is we've been having a nice south uh, to west wind yeah blows all the duckweed yeah there it is over. all there very is. thick over there along the edges you uh -huh. can also see that while the water hyacinth in the islands are growing wait i'm gonna have to zoom in for yes, the people you gotta zoom in i i don't know if i can zoom enough that's my max zoom yeah. and i can barely see those hyacinths yep so i mean there are they are more than when we put them in but we what happened to them doubling every 10 days yeah that didn't happen Plain and simple. We uh -huh. said that uh, it was going to be duckweed versus water hyacinth. Duckweed won by a landslide, <laughs> and then it didn't even fill up their little no, their little it didn't containers. Even fill it up. And then in there, this um, Mexicana fern weed, something or another. Uh huh. Very, very pretty. It's a it's think duckweed floating on the surface, but instead of little clover-like it looks like a fern hmm. yeah from the deck it kind of has a reddish hue it has a reddish hue because it gets full sun okay so according to the internet again all my okay. information internet so we're gonna put in four more of the uh muck blocks okay i'm gonna just use my waiter and we're just gonna put them on this side okay you kind of put them in a different spot each time i do right? most of the time i go out on the kayak and i put them by the diffusers put them uh right far end by the uh, cove there to eat up the muck. Sure. Last month we put a bunch in this close cove. Uh-huh. Um, and then we're also going to today walk over to our what we call the standing rock because it's just a rock that's a that shelf. You can stand on. And you can stand on it. I know. That's that's just incredible naming convention. You're sort of gifted at that, aren't I, you? I am. I really am. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we had measured the muck there last year, mm -hmm. about this time. Yeah. Exactly one yardstick away from that rock. Yep. And so we can compare. Great. Because one of the things that's a frustration around muck on the internet uh -huh. is that people don't report back how it's working. They just say, oh, it's working. But I want some data. Yeah. So right. here's the I'm moment with the you. data. All right. Okay, we'll so what it. was our wait, what was our data point before? How how many inches? Not hundred percent, four or five inches, maybe. Oh man, You'll this is to gonna go. be my job, You're isn't it? You're gonna have to go and then do one of those <laughs> crazy graphics where it says twenty twenty one, X number of inches, twenty twenty two, new number of inches. All right, all right. All I'll right. do it for science. All right. Definitely, definitely, definitely firmer. Definitely, definitely, definitely firmer. 100% firmer. And drop a ride there. So now I'm going to go over by the rock. You can follow me. And we'll see what we got. Last year we took the yardstick. Yes. I reached out touched the standing rock yes and then went down so i couldn't push it any further and this year it's about two and a half inches 
So I'm pretty wow. sure. It was I don't like, even have to look back. I can say we didn't have anything. I think the best we had last time was like four inches. I think so. So. Out here, three and a half inches. Oh yeah, we're definitely making progress. So. Let me check the, I'll check the muck right off of this. Whoa, there's some the muck. All right, so it will be where I can push it. Yeah. There we go. And now I go down. Seven inches. But you know, a lot of that is sand. Let me, for real, for real, it's four inches. Okay. So four inches of muck here, then there's sand, and then I'm guessing clay. So, and I can, I can get a feel for how far my feet are sticking down into this. Yeah, four inches till I hit the first resistance, then I can push it down another four or five inches. All right, so. I'm gonna throw oh yep now that's right up over the waders. <laughs> so that's the best way to do a quick and easy muck calculation uh -huh. is walk out until you sink six inches and then now your uh feet are soaked. Yes! Gotta watch out for those toe biters. Ah. Wouldn't it be terrible to have a toe biter in your waders?